What's going on YouTube and all you drunken misfits out there? Jeremy D. Glass here, aka I'm motherfucking drunk, y'all. And today we're gonna be like taking a look at how to make Texas Roadhouse's Kenny Cooler. Now, this is one of my favorite drinks there. If you've never been to Texas Roadhouse, for one, you need to go. Uh, two, if you've been to Texas Roadhouse and you have not gotten the Kenny's Cooler, is by far one of my favorite drinks on the menu. Now, you do need a decent amount of ingredients. We're gonna be looking at uh, coconut rum, peach schnapps, blue curacao. Now the recipe calls for non-alcoholic blue curacao, but I'm gonna be using alcoholic one because, well, I'm an alcoholic. Uh, Minute Maid lemonade and sweet and sour. You're also gonna be needing some ice. For this drink, traditionally you wanna build this in a fish bowl. You don't have to build it in a fish bowl, obviously. You can build it in whatever you want it to be. I will be using a fish bowl because, well, I like looking a little bit fancier. Uh, this does need to be shaken uh, as well. And then of course you're gonna need your jigger to measure. Uh, you can also just have a shot glass and just measure out that way. Jiggers make life easier though. So the Kenny's Cooler, what we're gonna be looking at, like I said, is one and a quarter ounce coconut rum, three quarters ounce peach schnapps. I do have the thing over here. Half an ounce of the blue curacao, half an ounce uh, sweet and sour, and then six ounces of lemonade. Now, first let's go ahead and get some ice cubes into my shaker and then we'll get all the ingredients in there. Hopefully this ice has been in the freezer long enough and I'm not gonna get a watery inside. Looks like it have been. I'm just going to be using two full size cubes and then we're gonna need some more ice here in a second. Also going to need, be needing a strainer. Ice, 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 where to sit, where to sit, just set you over here to the side. So first off, let's go with the blue corsal, which calls for half ounce. Almost poured that right into the glass out of instinct. All right. Half ounce blue corsal. I may add blue corsal a little bit more. Next, we need three quarters ounce of peach schnapps. Because this fish bowl that I have is actually quite a bit larger than the one that they use at the restaurant. This is a 44 ounce fish bowl, so mine may be a little bit large. Next, it does call for an ounce and a quarter, but we're just gonna go with an ounce and a half. And I am using Malibu Black because it is higher proof. Uh, you could use regular Malibu or any of your favorite kind of uh, coconut rum that you prefer. I like the Malibu back, like I said, it's a 70 proof compared to the regular Malibu's like a 42 proof. Next you need half an ounce of sweet and sour. Now, like I said, I think this is not going to definitely not fill up this fish bowl. Uh, looking at the ingredients already. Next, you need six ounces of your lemonade. Now, the one recipe I saw calls for Minute Maid. Of course, you can use whatever kind of lemonade you prefer. So this calls for six ounces. So we're gonna need three or two ounces. There's that. Now, one thing we're gonna do before we shake is I have a new little tool over here, ice bag. So this one uh, drink generally calls for crushed ice. So we're gonna actually fill this glass up with a good amount of ice to kind of fill out some of that space since we don't have as much drink as I think we're gonna need. Take three ice cubes. Like I said, you can just use regular crushed ice. You don't have to have an ice bag. <laughs> or the square cubes. Let's take three of them, tie it off, and just smash away. Now, I want this one to be a little bit more powdery. think just fill around till you feel like the consistency that you feel that you have right there take my fish bowl 
and then I just dump my ice right on into it. Probably could have used a, actually one more cube. Actually, you know what? We're gonna call two more cubes, actually. Probably gonna end up buying a smaller fish bowl in the future. Not gonna lie, this is the first time using this, and this is kind of fun. There we go. That out of the way. I did have a scoop here, but I was using all of it, so. Next, give our ingredients a shake up. That nice and cold. Take our strainer, make sure we don't get those big chunks of ice in. Oh, that is beautiful. Now, if you've been to Texas Roadhouse, you also know that you can also add kickers to these, which was essentially just a little uh, test tube with some tequila in it they throw in there and you can pull out and pour in. Uh, we're not gonna be doing that here, but that's something you can do to add a little bit extra. Next, we need our straw. That right there is a beautiful drink. Now, I'm thinking I probably could up the recipe a little bit. Uh, I say the curacao, I probably up to three quarters of a shot on it. Uh, the peach knot, probably up to the full shot. And then add an extra two ounces. Maybe up the sweet and sour to three quarters of a shot. Then probably up the another two ounces of the lemonade. Maybe up the liquor just a bit just to make this fish bowl fill out, fill out a little bit better. But let's go ahead and give it a try. Oh, that's, oh, oh man. That is fucking beautiful. I think mine's actually a little bit better because uh, using that black, that uh, 70 proof rum instead of the uh, 40 proof. But that right there, that is just a refreshing drink. That's a middle of the day, sit out on the porch, sip that some bitch, or out on a beach, preferably, <laughs> if you're around one. Oh, but that's just beautiful. Oh, man. Highly suggest trying to make this. They said you don't have to have the fishbowl. You don't have to use the Malibu Black. You can use regular Malibu. Any kind of lemonade you want, any sweet and sour mix you want. You can even use your own uh, sweet and sour mix. Uh, by just taking simple syrup and uh, lemon juice. You can make your own. Doesn't have to be the premix. This is just the easiest version of this. Uh, using a, your own, probably a little bit more higher end, a little bit better tasting, but the premix works just fine. And uh, it's just honestly phenomenal. Now, I'm gonna go enjoy this. I'm gonna go sit there and watch some TV. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, every little subscribe helps the channel. Every likes helps the channel. And uh, yeah, as always, Stay motherfucking drunk, y'all.